Part 1 of 9, USS Drums, Introduction and Top Deck. Gato class submarines were 311 feet 6 inches long. They displaced 4,525 tons of water when they surfaced and 2,425 when they submerged. The difference represents the water taken into the submarine's tanks when the boat submerged. The USS Drum was one of 68 in the Gato class. It was one of 237 diesel-electric power crafts built for the U.S. Navy in World War II. The drone was commissioned five weeks before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor that brought the United States into World War II. All submarines are named for fish, and the name drum comes from a type of fish capable of making a drumming noise that was best known on the Atlantic coast. The drum was built at the Portsmouth Navy Yard in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The keel was laid on September the 11th, 1940, commissioned on November the 1st, 1941, and the boat launched on May the 12th, 1941. The drum is actually a submersible. A submersible has a long, narrow hull, sharp bow, and carries topside guns. It runs on the surface, but submerges for short periods when required. The outer hull of the drum is light, all-welded steel construction, equivalent to that of a surface ship, except around the auxiliary safety and negative tanks, which had to withstand full submergence pressure. The sides just below the waterline were strengthened to resist the bumps of piers or of other submarines nested alongside. The main air intakes, located under the bridge deck, keep waves and spray out of the air supply piping. Some plating extended above the bridge deck formed a bulwark for bridge personnel to keep spray out of the conning tower and screen the red glow with a night lighting system from aircraft. Lookout stands were mounted on the periscope shears. The after end of the bridge was the only safe spot for the men to come topside and smoke while underway. Thus it became known as the cigarette deck. Most submarines were designed to carry two deck guns one forward and one aft, but usually only one was fitted. The magazine was under the mess hall. Shields were handed up from the lower level and passed up the ladder to the main deck. The drum had a six inch gun installed in 1945, but it was never used. The air conditioning was run when submerged and did a good job. The air conditioning kept the boat at a pleasant 90 to 95 degrees but when it was secured to conserve power or for quiet running, the boat would get up to 120. The crew mostly wore shorts and sandals and everything was always damp and the deck was covered with condensation. The drum had a total of 14 war patrols. She was active from April the 1st, 1942 until she was decommissioned on February the 16th, 1946. There were eight watertight compartments on the drum. From bow to stern, they were the forward torpedo room, forward battery room, control room, after battery room, forward engine room, after engine room, maneuvering room, and after torpedo room. The drum arrived in Pearl Harbor on April the 1st, 1942, and left there April the 14th for her first war patrol with Lieutenant Commander Robert Henry Rice as her captain. She arrived off Nagoya, south of Tokyo Bay, about May the 1st. While cruising there, she sank the seaplane Miyusu and three cargo ships. All of those were in the month of May. Rice's score for the patrol confirmed by post-war records, four ships for 20,000 tons. This was the most productive patrol so far by any submarine. The drum returned to Pearl Harbor on June the 12th, 1942 for a refit. She left on July 10th for her second war patrol. The drum sailed to the Truk area and operated off Ronglap Atoll, Ponap Reef, and in Stepan Strait. She damaged one freighter before returning to Midway for refit on September the 2nd, 1942. The drum left Midway for her third war patrol on September the 23rd bound for the eastern coast of Kyushu.
On October the 8th, 1942, she sank the cargo ship Hadmaru. On the 9th, she sank the freighter Hajimazian Maru. And the drums sank the cargo ship Raoun Maru on October 20th. Later in the patrol, she sank one of three air-escorted cargo ships and damaged at least two more ships before completing her patrol at Pearl Harbor on November 8, 1942. The drum left for her fourth war patrol on November the 29th. She sailed from Pearl Harbor, stopped at Midway to refuel, and then headed for Japan. Captain Rice was reported as having a miserable patrol. He missed one freighter, perhaps due to erratic torpedo performance, and damaged another. While he was preparing a second attack on the damaged ship, Japanese aircraft delivered a bombing attack on the drum, forcing him to break off. Towards the end of this patrol, the drum obtained a new skipper, Lieutenant Commander Barney McMahon. At this time, three boats were assigned to lay mines, including the drum. On his way to his area, McMahon stumbled blindly onto a major target, the light aircraft carrier Rau, with destroyer escorts bound for Truk on her maiden voyage. McMahon set up quickly and fired four bow tubes at the carrier, one hit. Before he could bring his stern tubes to bear, the destroyers drove him deep. One of the main motors went out, and in the ensuing moments, McMahon lost depth control plunging towards the deep ocean floor. By the time McMahon regained control of the vessel and brought her to the surface, Japanese planes overhead drove him back down. He was unable to get another shot at the carrier, but his one hit forced her to return to a navy yard in Japan for lengthy repairs. On December the 16th, McMahon went on to lay his minefield in the main shipping channel at Bungo Sudo and make two more attacks. He sank no ships, but his aggressive attack on Rohu earned him a silver star and a reputation for boldness. The patrol ended when the drum returned to Pearl Harbor on January the 24th, 1943. Ex-submariner Tom Bowser reports that during the two-month refit between patrols four and five, three-inch gun aft was removed and a four-inch gun was installed. A second 20 millimeter gun was installed, and most important, an ice cream machine and ice cuber were installed. For the next segment of the U.S. Drums War Patrols, please watch Part 2, the USS Drums Forward Torpedo Room.